This fall we had a pretty cool project. We replaced the haul rope, which is uh, what all the cabins attached to on the gondola. The haul rope that we ordered came from overseas and got shipped to Vancouver and then made its journey by truck all the way to Kicking Horse Mountain Resort, where it was unloaded by a couple humongous cranes and then brought up to our location where we're doing the splice up at Tower 4. Uh, the splice is where the two ends of the cable meet. The ends of the cable become unwound and then get tucked into each other in a way so that it creates one seamless loop around. Uh, when you do a splice, you bring in a special splicer. It's a very uh, specialized trade. Uh, these guys have been doing it for years and years and do a really good job of making the rope look seamless. You can almost not tell where one rope ends and the other one begins. For the process of splicing, we're going to need 15 to 20 guys just to handle the rope. It's so heavy and it's so long that uh, the awkwardness of getting the rope unraveled and re-raveled back in uh, is quite a labor-intensive one. Uh, once we started uh, getting the cable up to Tower 4, we took all the cabins offline, put them on the ground, detentioned the lift, and then anchored off two ends of the old cable, cut the old cable down the middle, and spliced in a temporary splice to the beginning of one of the new spools. Uh, we then proceeded to tie the other end of the cable down to what's called a capstan winch, a continuous winch so that we can pull the cable continuously and put it onto a spool. Uh, after we got all the new cable out onto the line and retensioning the lift. Uh, after retensioning the lift, we put all the cabins back online and we're good to go. A new haul rope will definitely uh, decrease wear and tear on all our parts and pieces and will help you guys have a safe and smooth ride to the top of the mountain.